Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more Mega Monsters here, freaking boy! How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty freaking amazing because I've just gone through the hybrid lists and I don't know why, but I missed a section and it's got some freaking amazing creatures we're gonna do. So I think I promised last episode that we we're gonna do the Spino and the Verrazino. I'm actually gonna hold that off for one more episode because I didn't really have time last night to um, go and uh, get all the stuff I needed. However, we have something a whole lot better. Let me show you. So, we done type 4, we done type 3, we done type 2, we just need the Spino. We're on type 1, that's what we've been like just starting. So we have type A and type S, and I was like, well, what order does that go in? So I looked at type S, and I'm looking at like, alright, this dude, not too much. Uh, we have some of these dudes, which is kind of a lot of stuff, but... You know, we, it's definitely doable. But, went into type A. Uh, which one was I on? Was it Flyers? Dodo, Parasaur, Featherlight. We can make that right now. And then next to it, Lymantria, Otter, and an Ovis. So we are making these two today. I don't care what happens today. These are the ones we are making. A freaking Dodo hybrid. I was actually begging myself or begging the dev to make one of these and then we have one that involves an otter and a novice and a moth it's gonna be freaking amazing so yeah um these type a's are all like three of them put together so dimetrodon dilophosaurus anki we're not too far from uh a shally megaloceros a verizino kind of not near that one and then we have this i, I missed this one as well oh bro we're making three of them otter ferox and a trike <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, we've got a large and a small one. Okay. Oh, freaking K. Okay. We are making three today. Uh, we just need to go and make some eggs, which do we have? Oh, God, I use the electronics. Um, I feel like I use some electronics to get that. Oh, boys. Oh, boys, I am excited. <laughs> There's going to be some cute-ass hybrids today. I cannot wait. Why is my face not loading in? What are we doing, bro? Hey. What's this face? You know, doesn't matter. So before we do start this, if you do enjoy the video at any point, make sure you're whacking a like on it. I do appreciate it. It helps the video. It helps the channel. It makes me happy. Um, subscribe if you're new. Remember, we have the goal of one million subs. Every single sub helps achieve that goal. I appreciate it all. Follow all the social medias. Question of the day. You've got three dinos to pick from. Three creatures from Ark. Select three of them and make it into a hybrid. What's what the creature's gonna be? What's it gonna look like? I want your hybrid creations, and maybe if we find a good one, we can slide that idea over to the mod dev and be like, "Hey, this is a good idea. How about you make this bad boy?" And we might see it in the future. So, right, let's. What we'll do? I kind of want to make one right now, and then work towards the other ones. What do we? What are we sure on? What are we sure on? Uh, so dino blob. I think it was insects. Was it insects? We need some mammal. All oh, right. Okay. Common insect. We've got enough for that. And for mammal, uh, we we'll probably need some stuff. Okay. I'm gonna craft some of this up. I'm gonna. What else do we need? Oh, excellent. Uh, excellent mammal. Can I make some excellent mammal? Cannot, we need to get some more polymer, but that's not too bad. All right, I need to go make some electronics. I need to go and make some, uh, get some more polymer. So let me just take a real quick break to make some of this shit, and then we'll grab that dodo. I think first, then we'll do the arm. Uh, we'll finish up with the the, uh, the the moth dude. Oh my god, I'm so excited today! Ah, and welcome back. So just finished. We've got the Dodo Parasol Featherline. I'm just going to see what else we need for... Okay, we can make you all redder. And uh, flyers. We just need excellent insect. Uh, excellent insect. Let's make 100 of that, boys. We are rolling it right now. Okay, we'll, we'll get that all sorted and stuff in a minute. Right. Oh, okay, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm running into the door. Okay. 
Is the whale shut up now? He was he was just screaming in my ear like he always does. Okay, so this is our. F I didn't pick it up, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, Axe. Good job. Okay. As I was saying, this is the first hybrid. I'm pretty sure it's our first hybrid that involves three creatures, not just the two, three of them. I am so excited for this. Like, I, I don't know if you can tell. I am like, I'm like a little kid, you know, when they're just jumping on the seat when your mum says you can go McDonald's or something. That's how excited I am. So, create the multi-fused hybrid in AV Dodo. Basically, a flying dodo with bioluminescence. Oh my god, this is like my dream. My dreams are coming true here. It is seen as one of the most beautiful flying hybrids out there. And with its more advanced senses, it can detect more things. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, it's going to be a dodo that can fly and freaking glows. Am I, am I dead? Am I in heaven? Pinch myself. Nope, that still hurts. Oh, man. Are we all ready for this? I don't think you're all ready. I don't think I'm ready. Let's go. AV Dodo. It's going to be freaking beautiful, man. Oh, it's tiny. I thought I was going to be able to fly on it. Whoa. Okay. I can see all the creatures in it. So, I wonder if all of these are going to be, like, shoulder pets. Like, I wonder if Type A are all small creatures. Why did I not make you at the start of the series? You could have been my shoulder pet for the whole time. So, we've got the dodo head. Uh, I wish the, the feathers would blend in a little bit better. Uh, it looks a little mishmash. But it's still cool. It's got like the feather light actions as well. Where it's like proper dying around. It's got the feather light wings. It's got the parasaur head. I mean, I still like it. And we can freaking wear it on our shoulder. Oh, he's like eating my shoulder. Okay, you go launch over there. I, I'm i happy with it. I wouldn't say it's the most beautiful flying creature. I'd still put that... S I take it back. Beautifulest creature ever. <laughs> most beautifulest thing ever. Um... Yeah, I would have. Pro I would probably say that the snake RG is the best one. Uh, do you like light up and shit? Oh, is that where you did your move? I love it. I love you, Mr. Dodo. I did get told. A couple of people have actually messaged me on the comments and stuff saying the mod dev is redoing some of these hybrids. Um, I think they said the Megalus. Saurus and the Pego one's been redone. So this might be one of them that they come back to and make even better. God, you're so cool. You are so cool. Oh, uh, what does that do? Okay, that's the max level dino detective. Do you do you do the parasaur behavior? Uh, I can't remember even how we do that. You know where? Uh, oh, is this it? Enemy prey detection enabled. Yeah. So just the Parasaur ability and the Featherlight ability. But it's also got a dodo face and a body. Okay. Um, I was a little... Oh, I don't know. I expected it to be big. I didn't know it was going to be small. I thought it might be a one we could fly on. We definitely can't fly, right? No. Hmm. What would I rate this out of 10? The idea... The idea of it is a 10 out of 10. Mm, the looks and stuff. It doesn't look as good as the other hybrids we've had. It looks a little like it's just been thrown together. Especially, maybe we just got dodgy with the colours. Um, I'd probably put like the looks down to a 7. I feel like if it was redone, if it does get like a TLC or an update, I reckon this one could be really good. It's just all the colours are all off and stuff. But the idea, perfect. The, what's the word? The idea, the the done the business stuff, not so good. Uh, all right, I'll probably give it a seven. You're probably gonna get a seven there, buddy. You are pretty cute though. I might actually leave you out. You can live in the house, you know. We haven't got a house creature. Hey Tilly, say hi to your new best friend. Unless the otter is even better. Maybe say hi to your new best friend. This is our house bird. Um, where does house bird want to live? Uh. You just live up there. You you chill on the steps, all right? 
Okay, so that was the Dodo Parasaur Feather Light. So, just making a few more of them. And we can make the Otter Ferox and a Trike Small. So, there is a bigger version. Uh, I don't want to read the descriptions, but... Um, oh, hitting the mic as well. So, I'm guessing it's just going to be a bigger version of it. So, let's make you... And then for this, we just need some more insects. Okay, we can do that after. That's not a problem. Uh, I guess we're just going to need chitin, keratin and stuff, maybe. I don't know. All right. Uh, give us a sec. We'll get this one out. We'll check this one out. I, I have higher hopes of this one now for some reason. I think this one's going to be even freaking better. And we'll come back. Uh, what was the red tokens? How many did we need for red? Ten? Hmm, okay. Let's go check out this one then. So, Otter is, I mean, hands down, pretty much the Otter is the cutest creature in Ark, right? I think most of us, I think 90% of us could agree the Otter is the cutest thing. Obviously, like, I love my Bulldog because it's so ugly. It's kind of cute. But the Otter is the cutest one. The Ferox is very close behind it and then it looks like it's gonna have some horns or shit from the trike so let's give this one a read i think this is just gonna be adorable okay create the multi-fused hybrid lutrinae pavus <laughs> i swear when they design these they just smash their head on the keyboard until a word comes out <laughs> This hybrid is very closely related to the Ferox. The only difference between them is the Lutie cannot transform. So they like being with a larger Ferox species called the Lithurgurum. Okay, so this can't change to a big one. Um, it likes to hang around with the bigger ones, I guess for protection and stuff. So it doesn't really tell us much about this. So it's going to be a small one, so I'm going to guess... It's going to be a Ferox body with an otter face and some trike horns. I don't... Uh, I actually have no idea. It could be a trike body. Should we just have a look at it? I know you're all eager. I know you're probably skipping the video, but don't do it. Don't skip the video. Keep watching. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Wait, was I right? I was right! Oh, you look like the devil, man. You look like the freaking devil. We kind of got poopy colours. You know what? I like this. I like it. I don't know why. So, it, is it a bit bigger than a Ferox? Yeah, that's definitely bigger than a Ferox, right? That's a bit bigger than a Ferox. It's got the otter face. And it's got tricons. I do feel... I do feel this type A are like the first hybrids the creator made because they all do look a little bit off compared to the ones we have been making doesn't mean they're bad they just they're not as smooth and as blended in like you can tell this is just a ferox body slapped with a lot of face on and some horns but saying that though i like it i do like it um all right do you have any moves we just pick you up you're gonna be massive on me right jesus it's like he's strangling me. He's got a chokehold on there. I'm dead. He choked me out. <laughs> it looks like he's legit choking me out. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, bro. You go down here. Uh, all right. So what are we thinking about? So, yeah, these these two are... Well, actually, no. This one doesn't have any abilities. I was going to say, the Dodo at least has some abilities. This dude, um, he doesn't. I reckon if better colours, it would look better. You really slap that tail about. Are you pissed? Are you angry? What are you angry at? You got an itchy nose as well. <laughs> um, all right. So, again, the idea, 10 out of 10. I'm liking the idea. When put in action, 7... Maybe seven. I just feel like I've got... I keep comparing, I think, to the, the snake bird. Like, that to me... That and Tilly are the best so far, in my opinion. That I like them the best. So, putting these against that, they don't look as good. So, yeah. A seven. I guess you could probably come live at home with us as well. And then we can pop them all out together and see what they all look like. Tilly, don't worry. Don't worry, you're still the greatest. 
God, you're such a derp. You're such a derp, Tilly. You pooped on the floor. You can come live at this side of the steps. So yeah, we've got the other dude. We've got the dodo one. I definitely prefer the dodo one over that one. I do love his horns, though. He does look very, uh, like I said, like devil-like. Like, if he was the evil version, the dodo could be the, the good version. Especially with the likes. It has, like, a little halo above its head sometimes. Yeah, got, like, the little halo there. Hmm. Good versus evil, maybe. Who knows? Okay, let's see then. So, uh, I could make another... What do I need? Tri cake, which we do have. Excellent mammal DNA. Uh, we'll probably save. You know what? We'll probably save the big one for when we do the spino next episode. Uh, excellent mammal. What was that? Daedon mammoth and a woolly rhino. Interesting. Okay, so we just need some excellent. Uh, we're going to be tight. It's going to be very tight on if we have enough. Uh, okay, so let's just make 50 of that. Let me just get me taxidermy of you, sir, just in case anything bad happens. Did we get that? Perfect. All right. Let me just get this uh, DNA made up, and then we'll get on to the last one, which... I don't know, man. I've got a feeling this might be the best one out of all three of them. Perfect. Made just enough. That has taken all my excellent mammal DNA, though. Which kind of sucks. Oh, they actually used a large synthetic egg. This is definitely going to be one we're going to be able to ride. So, yeah. I, honestly, like, Dimetrodon, Dilophosaurus, and Anki, we're, we could make. That's really not going to be hard to get. That's both flyers done. Herbivores, we need a Verizino egg and Verizino DNA. That's going to be a bit far off. Deodon, we can definitely get. And same with the big dude. All right, it looks like then. So when we do next episode, uh, we can do, hopefully, the Spino. This is the only issue with the Spino one. It's just that DNA. That DNA is just a ball ache. Uh, but we can probably get him and then a couple of these type A ones uh, for next episode. But, yeah, let's just uh, wait another sec for this dude. And here we go. Boom, got him. All right, let's go check him out. So, Lymantria Otter. I forgot it's had the R on. This one's... This is going to be the cutest. This has got the Otter, which is cute as shit. The Ovis, which is cute as shit. And a Moth, which are pretty cute. I don't like Moths. I, I'm weird. Like I like the look of Moths, but I don't like them when they come close to me. It's weird. <laughs> but let's give this one a read then. So, create a Lymantria. There we go. Otter of its hybrid. This will have a hybrid called a Calumnator. A huge... Here we go. A huge Moth hybrid Hybrid with genetics are so manipulated, ma manipulated and changed uh, that it makes this Moth a surprising ruler of the sky it can use its giant wings to push back large creatures and with its almost streamlined body it can dive at speed and momentum bro is this gonna be mothra this is gonna be mothra ain't it because people were telling me that the snake dude the snake rg was um mad bat or whatever he was called on one of on one of the kaiju stuff um okay so it says it's gonna be huge have we got enough room here they normally come out in front of me. Let me do it like here. If it comes out behind me, it's fine. It doesn't tell us how it incorporates the otter or the ovis. If it's just a giant moth, are we going to have an otter face? Ovis horns? I don't know. But let's have a look. Okay, so it's, dead. it's not huge. Ah, that was scary. You scared me, sir. Okay. Um, right. I don't see the otter or the obvious in you at all. <laughs> is it the... Okay, uh, I'm guessing the obvious is the fluff. Um, what is this face? Is this meant to be the otter's eyes? Hmm. I mean, you are big. You're definitely big. Uh, you've got like... Uh, I guess it said it was streamlined. I was going to say your butt's not as fat. Uh, I don't think we need a saddle, right? Okay. So when it said huge, I was expecting 
Oh, no, I guess the wings make it kind of big. Actually, you know what? It's kind of, it's bigger than the Griffin, so it is big. All right, you know what? Whatever. We are kind of big. So this is speed, but we should be able to dive bomb. Oh, we can dive bomb. You know what? Oh god, oh god, boss music. Blah blah blah. Don't listen to music. It's copyrighted. Stop music, please. Stop. Go away. <laughs> um, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, every fly should be able to dive bomb. It should be a thing that happens. All right, let's see. So left click, right click. Wait, right click's just E. <laughs> Does that do it? Right click is legit E. Okay, C. Okay, so we only do one attack. Interesting. Do we do more when we land in? No. Okay, so right is just gathering stuff. All right. Hey, you, come here. I want to fight you. 68. Hmm. So we're not even really that strong. Hey, Moth. Uh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Before we get into any more fights, taxidermy. Boom. Got him. I just wanted to... Oh, there's a myth dog there, of course. I just wanted to stand next to this moth and see the size difference, but I'm pretty certain we're a bit bigger than it. But if I get down there, that wolf's going to bite me and it's going to one-shot me. We only had problems with them wolves early on in the series. It's not been an issue since. Um, I mean, yeah, stats aren't that good. I don't know. I'm not disappointed, but at the same time, I am, and I don't know why I'm disappointed. Hmm... I don't... I just don't see the otter in it, really. I feel like this could have just been a moth and a sheep. I don't see why the otter was put into it. Maybe it's the eyes. Maybe it's like, because otters have the big old beady eyes. I guess we've got big eyes, but... I don't know. You're not really that speedy. The fluff, like the fur and stuff, that's cool. Again, it's not as cool as it is, like, say, on Tilly, or we had one of the dinosaurs with the Daedon fur. It looks, you know, more smooth on here. This one's a bit more rugged, which, again, brings back to my theory that maybe these were the early hybrids that are going to be reworked on. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go get the other two. I'm going to get the other two, and we're going to compare them all. Thinking right now, I'd probably give that about seven. Six. I'll give it a six because I don't see the R in it, man. I don't see that R in it. Right, you. Pick up. You. Follow. Can you get this door before it shuts? I bet you won't be able to. No, of course you can't. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it, Ark? Right, so we'll just bring all these down here. I just want them all, like, next to each other so we can, like, have a look at it. So you stay there. I didn't mean to whistle, but it's okay. I feel like the Ferox one is actually growing on me a bit. I need to stay there. Okay, so this is what we made then. So we got these two. Like I said, the Ferox is definitely growing on me. I'm liking the Ferox more and more. Uh, I do feel like that is like light and dark. Like I do feel like once you've got your light on, you're like the little... Angel, you got your little halo on there, and then this dude's got his little devil horns. And then we've got this dude. <laughs> we've got two tight shoulder pads and then a massive freaking Mothra dude. Um, right, so I'm going to be biased because this has Dodo DNA in. That's going to be my favorite out of today. You're an eight. You're an eight. You're a seven. Six, seven, six. No, you're a six. I'm going to go for a six. That's a six. Yeah. Uh, let me know your ratings down below. Whack them in the comment section. Do moth equals whatever your rating is. Dodo equals ferox equals. Let's see if you, like, agree with me and whatnot. Um, okay. Let's pop you and your Pokeball. Let's take you to back. Because you're my house pets now. I'm going to keep them both because they're cute and they're small. Oh, he did look kind of cute when you're running. So I'll do my usual stuff. I'll get them into uh, taxidermies. And we'll pop them in our little lab we've got going on. You launch that way because I'm going to pick you up. You know what? You two can just chill there. There we go. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. And welcome back for the final time today. So uh, I've whacked me buddies all in their little enclosures. So... 
I've put the dodo here because we had this empty spot here and I cannot for the life of me remember why I did that. Uh, maybe it was for one of the creatures that didn't work, but I can't remember. So the dodo is going to chill here uh, with the horrific Jaboa Ichthyornis dude. We don't like him. Uh, the moth dude is chilling here next to the wolf uh, Managama thing. Um, there he is with his... Looks like he's got his shades on. Uh, his future is too bright. He needs shades. And the Ferox dude is in here on his own because he has the most adorable pose ever. Look at him. Come at me, bro. I don't care if I'm small. I'll kick your butt. Come at me. That's all I see from him. Like, I freaking love it. So he's going to have his own little, like, section here just because he's freaking adorable. Um, I definitely feel that the more I look at him, the better that one gets. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm, I want to put that up to maybe an 8.5 now. The dodo can stay an 8. That's an 8.5. And I'm keeping the moth at a 6. But we are filling these rooms out. Uh, we've still got like, what, another 10, 20 left? I may have to add one more extension. Because I don't want them all clustered so they're just in a line. Like, that's probably as long as I want to get them. But I did make this so that I could make another room. Like, I could easily make another section back here. Um, I suppose there's a bit of space here to do. But we'll see. But... Yeah, there we freaking go. So, we'll wrap it up. Call it a day there. Look at, look at him just behind us. <laughs> Let me know, like I said, your ratings, what you're feeling about them. Uh, I can't believe I missed them. We could have made these, like, I don't know, weeks ago. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, make sure you whack the like on it. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. All the usual stuff. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you all in a bit. See you later. Bye.